and we're ready to go. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to our class. I'm Jessica Wood with Old Republic Home Warranty and Christy Bashami, Old Republic Home Warranty. So we are your local Old Republic Home Warranty reps. Please save our contact info. You can call or text or email us anytime. We're here for you to answer any questions or help you with placing orders or um, service related matters. Just uh, we really, really appreciate your business and support. But today we're going to be talking less about home warranty and more about utilizing video and social media for marketing your business, which has been really important, especially during a pandemic. And I think it's going to continue to be important with or without a pandemic. <laughs> so that's what we'll be talking about today. And um, we'll just dive right in. Raise your hand if you think real estate is a competitive business. <laughs> Raise your hand if you find yourself often answering the same real estate questions over and over. Raise your hand if you believe that video marketing and social media can help you work smarter, not harder. <laughs> okay, you guys, so you're in the right place. Disclaimer, we certainly do not consider ourselves video or social media experts. However, we just want to share what's been working for us and um, proven in our production and just help motivate you and excite you to do the same in your business. So lights, camera, action. Let's jump right in. Keep in mind, if you're going to remember anything from this class, my tip is perfection is the enemy of progress. You're probably not going to love your first couple videos, or you might feel a little bit uncomfortable um, recording a video and sharing it on social media where hundreds of people can see it. Um, you're going to feel vulnerable, but the problem is you're probably never really going to feel like it's perfect. And so I just think that perfection is the enemy of progress and you just got to try it and it'll get more comfortable as you go. Um, so I want to share personally a few videos that I have shared on social media just to give you some examples and share what's really worked for me. And I, I just share them to help you get creative and think outside the box and think about videos that you could be sharing. So forgive me, I don't share them to be an egomaniac or anything like that. I just want to share my own experience and, and get you excited about trying it for yourself. So here's a video that I shared a few years back, obviously around Christmas time. And excuse me, it was just kind of a fun little holiday jingle and I got incredible feedback. So I'll play that for you now. It was the night before Christmas and all through the house, the pipes started leaking. They were gonna get doused. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Too bad the furnace was blowing cold air. Children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of huge repair costs danced in dad's head. The stove wouldn't cook and the fridge wouldn't cool. Now the new homeowners were fixing the duel. From out in the kitchen arose such a clatter, they wondered out loud, now what's the matter? Close to the sink is where they found the clash as the darn compactor was spewing out trash. As they slumped to the floor in an agonized heap, they remembered the card they decided to keep. Off to the phone, they flew in a flash, their fabulous realtor had saved them big cash. The home warranty, how could they forget, would turn out to be the best present yet. Their realtor told them, call ORHP, they'll clean up the mess, lucky for me. Old Republic was there to make the home right. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. <laughs> so it still makes me cringe to watch. That was myself. cute. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it still makes me cringe to watch myself on video, but people seem to think it's entertaining. So I share this one. I can't take credit for um for the words. One of our other wonderful reps came up with that. Um However, I did get really incredible feedback on this post. So I posted this on Facebook a few years back. It was 2018 and it got 1700 views, 173 comments, six shares, 285 interactions, whether it was like a love or a laugh. And as far as I'm concerned, that's just as powerful as speaking to a huge auditorium full of people because this was seen and shared and I got a lot of interaction. So it was a really, really positive feedback and I was just blown away by that. So the goal with video and social media is really just to actively utilize it to establish and increase your online presence and your social media followers and your reach. 
What I didn't even think of or anticipate was this added benefit of sharing videos consistently. A lot of my, um, my clients started to chime in in the comment section with these wonderful testimonials. We love you in Old Republic, great information, great presentation, well done, Jessica, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I thought, oh my gosh, these people are so sweet. I, I wonder if they wouldn't mind if I use these as testimonials on my website. So I messaged each of them. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Hey, would you mind if I use that really nice comment as a testimonial on my website? And they say, no, absolutely. Please do go for it. So boom, not only was I, I having success with utilizing video and social media, but I was also improving um, the testimonials on my website. So be prepared for that because your raving fans, as we like to call them, are going to want to support you and your efforts. Some of my personal notes and pointers, I really think consistency is key. I've been with Old Republic for eight years, but I was never really consistent with video until maybe two years ago. And I've seen a huge difference in my um, networking abilities and my production and just um, all around feeling more connected to, to my clients and, and more referrals. So I really think consistency is so powerful. Um, I highly recommend getting mentor or team leader or colleague feedback on your first few videos, they may catch something that you don't. Um, maybe it's something with your grammar, or maybe your background is a little distracting, or um, who knows, but I just highly recommend getting a little bit of feedback from someone you know and trust before you post uh, for the public to view. Avoid analysis paralysis by keeping it simple. I film my videos around the same time every week. I do one video a week and it's 60 seconds long. I keep it really simple. So just, I, I try to film in the same place. I keep it 60 seconds. I post on warranty Wednesday so people know when to expect it. So just figure out what works for you and find your system, right? I know KW is really big on systems and I think that's really gonna help you with your video and social media efforts. But know your who, what, when, where, why, how, be clear on that when you're going into making a video. The brand and face recognition makes it easier to connect with prospects. My prospects are realtors. So I connect with a lot of realtors on social media before I've even met them. But then what's nice is if they're seeing my content consistently, when I finally do have the opportunity to meet them in person, they go, oh yeah, I see you on Facebook. You like dogs and you post videos about Warranty Wednesday. Yes, that's true. That's me. So we kind of already have this rapport before we've really even met in person. Dress code applies, obviously dress the way you would anytime you're meeting with a client. And keep your videos around 60 seconds. I think much longer, you might lose people. But again, trial and error. If you have something to say that's more than 60 seconds worth, go for it and you'll, you'll know by, by the views and the interaction um, if that works for you. Here's another video where I'm not even talking about home warranty. I'm talking about something that's going on in the community. I'm trying to add value um, and, and benefit realtors really. So I'm just sharing something that's going on in the community and here's a sample of that. Good morning, everybody. It's Warranty Wednesday. Jessica Wood here with Old Republic Home Protection. Today and tomorrow, September 25th and 26th is the California Association of Realtors Reimagine Expo. This year, it's actually right in downtown LA at the convention center, and it's not always conveniently located in our backyards. Sometimes it's in San Diego, San Jose, Long Beach, Anaheim. So I just wanted to hop on here and encourage all my local realtor clients to consider stopping by. There's going to be over 60 breakout sessions over a hundred speakers. They're covering hot topics. What are we seeing in real estate? What's coming next year in 2020? There will be over 200 vendors with booths, tons of swag, raffle prizes. Old Republic is there every year. This year we'll be at booth 229. I'll be there a Thursday afternoon, so please feel free to stop by. I'll also be taking over the Old Republic Instagram. Feel free to give us a follow. It's at orhp.homewarranty. Uh, the best part is this is a free event if you're a California Association of Realtors member. So hope to see you there. Reach out to me if you have any questions. So I share that just to remind you guys, you don't have to be talking about real estate all the time. You might just be sharing, maybe there's an, 
a new expo at the museum, or maybe there's a cool farmer's market in town or whatever, whatever you think might benefit your sphere, your clients, you can share that. It doesn't have to be real estate all the time. I keep, again, I keep it really simple. If I use any apps, it's just these two apps. I film my videos from my phone, nothing fancy, um, but I use this crop video app. You can cut and crop the, um, the edges of your video. And then also this teleprompter app that I'll use occasionally, not every time, but if I have something kind of wordy that I want to say, and I don't want to be stumbling over my words, this teleprompter app is really cool. And I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like. So here's a few of my scripts that I have saved in the app. And this is what it looks like for you while you're filming. So the words will be scrolling on your screen while you're looking into the lens. So the viewer often can't even tell that you're looking at, um, at a script because it's, it's moving and scrolling. So highly recommend checking that out. There's a free version that would uh, result in any of your videos being watermarked at the bottom. It would say this video filmed with teleprompter app, which you could probably crop out, <laughs> but they do also have a paid version. Um, it's just a few dollars. So highly, highly recommend checking this out. So Jessica, and what, what, you're, uh -huh. what you're saying is that when you did that um, holiday one, the Christmas, mm -hmm. you had the words on that screen? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. So I'm what? Oh yeah. You, and first of all, you have very, very different looks. Like I'm like, that doesn't look. Oh, I know. Well, this doesn't look <laughs> like your look changes. With, it's me. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I get bored. I'm, that's good. That's great that you're so respectful. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm watching that and I'm thinking, well, she memorized that. That was awesome. But you were nope, literally I cheated. off of the screen that was watching. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, totally great. cheated. Thank you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, Good. I didn't take the time to memorize it. I just, I, I literally copy, copied it from my notes app, my notes app in my phone, pasted it right into the teleprompter app, and then boom, you can mess with the timing of um of how the how quickly or slowly the words are scrolling and the font, and so you can kind of tweak all that to get the timing down. But awesome. yeah, literally just copy pasted that script into the teleprompter app. It was really user-friendly. Thank you. And then this is the cut and crop app. This one I'll use to like, see those trash cans in the background. I would probably just crop out those trash cans. Um, so it's not distracting or it's more aesthetically pleasing. And then, you know, when you're starting a video and doing like an ending a video and like pressing the button, you can cut that, trim that off too. So I'd like to just keep them kind of neat and clean and somewhat professional looking as professional as I can for a, someone who doesn't know what they're doing with video <laughs> or video editing. It doesn't show. You, it, it. Thank you. I appreciate you. <laughs> okay. So possible video topics for realtors. Let's brainstorm. Um, interest rates, buying process, selling process, uh, disclosures, inspection tips, staging tips, qualifying do's and don'ts, client testimonials, et cetera, et cetera. There's an endless supply of content for us, right? Because the market's always changing. So 60 seconds, maybe once a week, once a month, whatever your goal is gonna be, just set it, be clear on it and stick to it. <laughs> this is one of my first videos that I hate, but I share it to show you that you will see improvement and progress over time. <laughs> this is the last one, I swear. Hi everyone, Jessica Wood here with Old Republic Home Protection, your local home warranty rep proudly serving Los Angeles and Ventura County. I'm excited to start a new video series to answer frequently asked home warranty questions. So if you have any questions you'd like me to address, please email me at jessicaw at orhp.com. I'm often asked if a home inspection is required with the purchase of a home warranty. And the short answer is no. Unlike some home warranty companies that might require home inspections, Old Republic does not. We do highly recommend home inspections with the purchase of a new home because they often prove to be invaluable for all parties involved in the transaction, but they're not mandatory. With that being said, we do expect that all covered systems and appliances are in proper working order on the effective date of the plan since pre-existing conditions are not covered. 
For more information about that, you can see our California 5.1 brochure on page seven under the ABCs of coverage, or you can always call or email me. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much for your business and support. I hope to connect with you soon. Have a wonderful day. So cringy. <laughs> But I got my message out and it was useful. So I am going to pass the baton to the lovely Miss Christy. Oh, you're muted. You're muted, muted. <laughs> Been there, done that many a times. Yeah, yes, me too. Find <laughs> the button. Where is it? Yeah. I'm all, what, why isn't it clicking? So I think <laughs> that timing matters, but if you're going to um, rely on, oh, wow, I missed the timeline, I shouldn't post. I think something is better than nothing, obviously. But if you're going to really want to get your bank for your buck and, and use your time wisely, here's where we found are the most um, highest engagement times where people are most likely to scroll through their phone and interact with your video. And you'll notice that on Facebook, the more interaction you get, the more other people see your things as well. So you'll see this area around here um, is the best time really to be posting. Um, and it's really Monday through Friday um, that are getting the most views. And uh, my personal time is lunch. I love lunchtime because, you know, anytime between, you know, 11 and one people are scrolling, they might have an extra hour or so to have coffee or whatever. And um, this is just the most penetrated time. Now, if you skip that time, still better to post something than nothing. Um, taking your friendships to the next level. So when you make your friends list on Facebook, the really nice thing is not only can you make a friends list, but you can make other lists as well. And that way you're able to post to who you're targeted to. So Jessica was mentioning earlier, know who your audience is. You know, If you're only posting real estate all of the time, people might be um, more opt to say, you know, click to see less and see less of your post. But if you're keeping it to your, you're posting to your target list, like your family list, your investor list, families of friends, open house contacts, colleagues, your content is going to be different. It might be, you know, um, you found a good quote or you found, you know, an awesome rate or whatever it is. Make sure what you're posting is not only to that group. And if you're posting to everyone, make sure that you're you're providing a good variation. You know, I like to do animals one day, quotes one day, market updates one day. And it's always something different so that they're not, they already don't expect that they know what you're going to be posting. Change your newsfeed setting to the most recent. So if you ever scroll through your Facebook and you notice that you're seeing the same thing over and over, you're like, gosh, I just saw that. That might be because your most recent isn't um, set on there. And so like there's been a couple of times in the way past before we discovered that they have all these little funny settings on Facebook that we may not realize. Um, you know, you're, you're posting to be helpful on somebody's thing and it might be a week or two old. So when you're doing most recent, you're seeing the most likely things that are most relevant that ha just happened. And the more we interact and comment on videos and posts, the more people are feeling like you're engaging with them and they're, you guys are getting to know each other. How do you set the Facebook to most recent? So it's super, super easy. So on the web, you're gonna click the down arrow to the newsfeed and you're gonna see the button that says most recent. You simply click on that. iOS and Android apps may be a little bit different, but it should be in the three line in the corner of your screen. And you're just gonna scroll down and tap most recent. It's really easy. If you can't find it, call me and Jessica and we'll walk through it. Harness your hashtags. So likes per 100 posts based on a number of hashtags. So um, make sure that your hashtags are being relevant. And seven we found generates the most engagement. More than eight may be perceived as spam and less may not give you as much traffic as what you like. So if we keep to seven, 
that's great. Um, but make sure your hashtags are leading to a positive view, never a negative view. And make sure that what you're posting is relevant and vanilla. So if we're posting something extremely opinionated that people might have adverse reactions to, you know, you might want to harness what audience you're giving that to and how much exposure you're actually getting. Um, perfection is the enemy of progress. So, you know, sometimes I'll post something and I'll get 200 likes on it. And I'm like, wow, that's so crazy. Like I never expected that to get so many likes. And then when I post something that I really think somebody might like, I'm getting 10, right? So we never really know what people are going to react to. So don't assume that because you're not interested in it, somebody else might not be interested is the biggest thing that I've learned through all of this. So make sure that you're willing to experiment, uh, make sure you travel outside of your comfort zone. Jessica is amazing on video. I don't really feel that I am. I do it because I have to, but yeah. not because I want to. And I cringe when I see my videos or, you know, every once in a while a realtor will ask to interview me or to go on their YouTube channel or whatever. And I do it because that's my job, but I don't love it. But even though I don't love it, doesn't mean other people are being as critical as I am of myself. And I'll tell you, I've done a lot of them. And every single time I'm like, oh, I'm so nervous, but I've never got a negative comment or, um, a critique that I was like, oh gosh, I wouldn't have done that, you know, but it's all been positive. And I know that we're our uh, most critical of ourself. And I have a really good friend that's also an agent and she asked me to do an interview. I'm like, oh, you know, that's not my gig, you know? And she's like, get over yourself. Nobody looks at you the same way you look at you. And I'm like, okay, fine. So it's just, just push yourself because it's better than what you think. That's so true. And the other thing to consider is that our audience understands how vulnerable we're feeling by recording a video and sharing it because we all feel that way. So I find that I get so much positive feedback and kudos from realtors because they're being told to utilize video and social media more. So they're like, Hey, you know what? She's doing it good for her. She she's been consistent and posting. And I, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised if you gave it a shot um, to see the positive feedback that you'll get in return and hopefully um, positive results in your production. Yeah, even on a worst case scenario, somebody's gonna say, hey, she really tried hard, <laughs> you know, on a worst right. case. Hey, for effort. Thought, you know, I love this. I love this quote from Winston Churchill that um, so many times we focus on making everything so perfect. I'm a perfectionist. It's, I mean, trust me, I know this. And my daughter is that the oldest daughter is the same. And it's funny because the other day I saw one of my associates up in Studio City that she was doing a video. And finally, she in the video that she finally populated, to, she says something about, oh, I don't know what take this is, but I'm done taking. We're just going to roll with it. And it is what it is. And it's like, when you just allow yourself to be um, authentic. What is it? Authentic. Just, authentic. Keep yeah. just yeah. allow yourself to be you relax, be calm. It's like, it's no big deal because they're, everybody's trying it. As long as you're trying it, you'll continue to improve. You totally. know, just, it exactly. will come with time and practice. And one of the tips that I've given previously too, is when I'm filming a video, I tend to get nervous as if as if I'm speaking to a large group because I know it's potentially gonna be seen by a large group. So I get nervous, but it's just me in a room alone. So I've kind of, I've kind of tweaked it and started to tell myself, Jessica, imagine you're just answering a question that a client has asked you. Because when I'm answering a question on the phone or in person to a client, I'm completely confident because I know my stuff, right? So why am I getting nervous just because I'm being recorded? So right. now it helps me to imagine I'm just answering a question, having a one-on-one -on -one with a client. And I think that really shifts um, your appearance and your energy in the video. So that's a tip that I've given to realtors as well. I think one thing that like I am challenged with, I'll watch my videos. I'll, every now and then I'll post a little video about a class that's coming on and put it in um, uh, a uh, WhatsApp that we have for a lot of the agents, right? 
and I replay it and it's like, oh my gosh, I have set like my facial expressions are so animated and, you know, but I'm watching you guys talk and you're just very calm. You're very normal. And, you know, I just tend to get nah, out there. But so, you're just being critical of yourself, of yourself. Uh, mm. Yeah. I bet you if no you asked else. somebody else what their opinion was, that wouldn't be their opinion. Exactly. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. But then maybe that's how they see me. So they don't see, I don't realize I'm that animated or something, but. <laughs> but I, I also think that's, that's better than the alternative, right? Yeah. If you're trying to capture an audience, you don't want to be here. They're just like totally monotone and boring and stagnant, you know, it's better to be animated. If right. that's your personality, that's who you are, you know? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Just allow yourself to be you. Yeah. Yes. Authentic. You're right. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Good pointers, ladies. <laughs> Thank you so much um, for your time, for being here, for anyone who wants to reach out, um, please feel free to do so. We're here to cheer you on and encourage you and help you, um, not just with home warranty, but motivating you to grow your business as well. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, ladies, thank you again for your time. We appreciate it. Mona, thank you for joining us. And this will be available later today um, for others to be able to watch as well. So thank you. Thanks. This is great. Bye. Good info. Take care. Bye-bye.